Hello everyone. So today we are going to react to uh, one of um, Coke Studio Pakistan song, uh, one of our favorites from season five, when Ruhel Hayat was on the producer seat. So uh, without further ado, I think let's jump to the track. It's called Nindia Ke Par, and then we will talk about it. All right. Let's do it. Are you ready? All right. Three. Yeah. Two. One, play. We couldn't wait to jump in. <laughs> I love this start, always. I'm hearing this song after, I don't know, a couple of years. Same, same. Don't know. 
जाते तू है मेरी जिंदगानी सोने तेरे बिन मेरे नैना कहीं पाए ना चैना तू है दिल की कहानी सोने The backing vocals are equally beautiful. <clears throat> All right, tell me why you love this song. Uh, mainly because of the vocals of Zaid Jaswal. Um, this is, I think, very few songs that he has sung, but I always liked his song. Um, for me, I, I still remember when Coke Studio Season 5 was progressing. Um, this was the song which I was looking forward to since the beginning because I watched in the promo and the promo had... Um, the part where a he was, yeah, a teaser where he was singing his original, which is Tere Ben Nahi Lage Jiya, this, this song. And I instantly got hooked to that particular line. I hadn't heard that song before of his ears as well, but I loved that part so much that I was eagerly waiting for that song. And it lived up to my expectation back then as well. And this is like, how do you explain it? It's, it's basically three songs combined within one song. It's not yeah. two, it's three songs. So two, the initial part is um, basically written then and there. I think when they were preparing for this particular song, it was written at that moment. And then they have put the Nusrat Fat Ali Khan's um, song as well. And then in the end, it's Uzair Jaswal's original. So the, the beauty of the song is the seamless integration of all those three songs. You keep mentioning the time signature. I think it's, it's been built around uh, four yeah. time signature four and you constantly see it on the screen as well but they have done it pretty seamlessly you don't really know when the first song is ending the second is beginning and the third one is merging to this particular collaboration right so that's the beauty of this particular song so this this is one of those songs where <clears throat> i keep mentioning uh there is this beauty and simplicity of the song yeah right it's very simple song to play uh if you have a if you do rhythm guitars or something mm. you can totally sing this song with its rhythms you know yeah uh, in a group while uh sitting by a bonfire mm. or some such mm-hmm. um it's it's interesting that you mentioned that the this song is uh, made up of three parts but why i love this song is because of the lyrics mm-hmm. and how how the lyrics transition to once one uh, stage mm-hmm. to another mm-hmm. um if you if you think about the whole picture if you concentrate on the lyrics mm-hmm. i mean we have heard this song like so many <laughs> times we don't even think this is like one of the songs that is, that is always in my playlist mm-hmm. like all the people around me, they have this song in their playlist and this comes up mm. like on all the road trips and all, you know, mm. some such. We don't even think about the lyrics anymore. Mm. You know, it's, we we, exactly. we have memorized the lyrics. But if you think about it, it's it's in three stages, as you mentioned. The one, the first stage is that it's, a, it's, it's from a perspective of a woman, mm. as far as I perceive. Mm. And she is narrating that the guy who or whoever um the the loved one has gone away mm. right um and then in the second part she's narrating how she feels yes. about mm. it right about the separation about mm. the um not not separation but about living remotely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the third part is she's um, kind of pleading, requesting, you know, you'll come back to me. Mm. That, so this is the storyline. She is narrating that uh, the, the Lord one went away. And now in the second one, they are living separately or remotely. Mm. The third one, she wants them to 
be back, back mm. living together you know mm. and it's it's so it it flows so well these three songs and their lyrics so naturally but i mean apart from lyrics why i love the song i i mean uja jaiswal's voice is pretty nice mm. nothing like out of the ordinary mm. like it's extraordinary some so such but the way he sung it yeah he has poured <laughs> so much emotion True. into the song um that that st- makes the stand uh, song stands out agreed agreed and you mentioned it really you if you think about it it's not just the music that has been merged for these three songs but also the lyrics have been written in such a way that they make sense overall so it's not just random <laughs> combination of three songs it makes sense eventually yeah. so it's and i mean when you talk about the simplicity of the song the house band itself is all of them are ogs umran is sitting there asad Absolutely. is asad is there farhad mayo is on drums so you see all these specialists i don't know who was on the keys actually i love the keys part the most because it it keeps you hooked from the beginning i don't know if it was jafar zaidi mm-hmm. because i don't remember and it's not mentioned in the description anymore interesting i haven't yeah. noticed that, that as well yeah because the keys part is something that hooked me instantly from the beginning of the song even today when i hear it again the keys are the the first part that it starts and it's like flowing river honestly for, for me it's just like a stream it's yeah it's it's very smooth very simple no unnecessary drum solos yeah. no unnecessary guitar it, solos yeah. no unnecessary bass yeah. um percussions mm. you know <clears throat> and um again i would repeat that um, the all those those three stages required different tones mm. and different um set of emotions different set of cadence mm. and not only did um, uzaj as well delivered on those fronts but the house ones as well right yeah. they, i mean they do this is why we love coke studio right they this set such a high bar everything was so pristine yeah. the backing vocals the the all the 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 rhythms the acoustics yeah every single thing yeah himayo i i keep when i whenever i see himayo yeah for the himayo uh yeah so he has passed away and uh um, no i yeah. i didn't know that is it i think so oh i don't want to be wrong <laughs> let me himayo for her yeah i think so yeah yeah i think so yeah you are right you're actually right yes yeah so it's yeah i was doubting myself so he passed away he has um he also has an amazing track or coke studio yeah uh, which i uh come back to often we would some day share that with you but i think we we should conclude and i would urge our viewers to go back to the original video mm. and or original track and just listen there absolutely absolutely you would love that Yeah. All right. All right then. We will jump to the next one then and see you there. See ya. Bye. Bye.